The presentation was about prevention and treatment strategies in vascular cardiac impairment patients, so basically two fields. And uh, for the first one, prevention, uh, we uh, outlined data coming from different studies showing that prevention of uh, particularly control of vascular risk factors is effective in uh, uh, reducing the burden of, uh, of dementia in, uh, in our population. Particularly, I, I also focused on the new data from the Framingham study uh, that uh, showed very clearly that the, there is a, a decreasing incidence of dementia over time in the last three decades, at least in the US, and, uh, and particularly uh, this is, uh, holds true for vascular dementia patients. So uh, my, my point and my opinion in that sense is that the control of vascular risk factors is something that has been able to reduce the burden of, of uh, uh, dementia over time and is, is effective, is, is ongoing. And there are different um, trials and um, uh, population-based studies that show uh, that indeed control of vascular risk factor is effective in reducing the burden of vascular dementia and of dementia in general. Uh, more delicate and uh, probably more difficult is the field of uh, the symptomatic treatment of uh, patients with vascular dementia, patients who are already uh, a severe uh, condition characterized by cognitive problems that impact uh, functional um, uh, activity of daily living. Differently from Alzheimer's disease, as I was saying, there are no licensed drugs in, in the field of vascular dementia. However, uh, in my presentation, I show it very clearly that there are indeed uh, some drugs that are effective in the treatment of these patients, even though they are not uh, yet licensed, and also that there are many uh, ongoing important trials in this field. So the main message uh, from, from my presentation for what concerns the treatment of vascular dementia is that this field is not still, is moving, is, is advancing. I think that we are improving in this field and uh, we hope that in the near future we will have uh, licensed drugs for the treatment of vascular dementia patients as well as we have for Alzheimer's disease patients.